you would like to know about Intercoin. It's using the smart contract technology for the first time for everyday people. Cubex is the older sister. It's been around for a while. Help everybody have their own social network. There's been a Well, first of all, thank you everybody for coming. I wanted to kind of explain on this call, uh, whatever uh, you would like to know about Intercoin. Uh, we've been around for three years. It's actually our second company. Um, the team, uh, a lot of people on the team have been working also for 10 years. We started 10 years ago, our first company, Cubix, and we essentially reached 8 million people now around the world. Uh, Cubix helps to create communities uh, online with video conferencing, like what we're doing here. And then what Intercoin was started to do three years ago is to create sort of the next generation uh, with the blockchain so you can have applications like voting and cryptocurrencies and actual use cases and governance. So companies, organizations of all kinds, and even cities would be able to govern themselves and elect mayors and other things like that uh, right on the blockchain. It's using the smart contract technology for the first time for everyday people. And um, the big example I like to use is that uh, you know, computers used to be very geeky back in the day, before the personal computer, before the Mac, right? With windows and buttons and uh, mice. Once that came around, everybody started using it and that led to an explosion. And the same thing happened with the internet. The same thing happened with the web. As things became easier to use, everybody started using it. So we're basically building crypto for the rest of us. Same way as the Mac was the computer for the rest of us. We probably should start here cubix.com slash intercoin. The reason is because I want to give you the full picture of where we're at. Um, so basically it's two, you can think of them as sister companies. Uh, cubix is the older sister. It's been around for a while. It lets any community release and manage their own social network and launch it in the app stores uh, for their members. So think of it, there's so many organizations that would like to have their own community. Some of them already do, on Telegram or Facebook, and some of them don't. Like, for example, NYU, where I went to school, alumni community, they're not really connected so well. What we do at Cubix is to help everybody have their own social network that runs on their website. It turns their website into a social network gradually, and they don't actually depend on Facebook or LinkedIn or anything. So to give you an example, here is Facebook. And you know, if you want to have a community on it, uh, it will be lost among all of these other things that are happening, including advertising and a lot of advertising, uh, and also uh, people talking about politics and all these kinds of stuff. So in order for you to have your community, it would be somewhere here. And then, um, I don't know, let's, let's actually take this community here, altcoin investing, right? So essentially, Facebook allows you to customize a little bit about it. You know, you can have your picture. You can have uh, essentially the standard tools. And then Facebook gives you, you know, it has to be living on facebook.com slash this. If they ever kick you off, that's it. So you're kind of relying on them to, um, to have your best interest at heart. Um, that's the current model. And what crypto does is it basically, and what open source software does, is it actually turns it on its head and says, you own the data and you can host it anywhere you like. So here's an example of Andrew Yang's uh, 2020 campaign. We have it preserved. We built an app for the Andrew Yang 2020 campaign. Norman was actually a big part of it. Um, Andrew Yang uh, ran for president of the United States uh, on the Democratic uh, primary, uh, talking about universal basic income, something that we have been working very hard to uh, enable, which I'll explain later. So Andrew Yang wanted to do it on a national level. He kind of failed like everybody else before him failed, like Richard Nixon almost tried to do a universal basic income. Um, 
it's very hard to do on such a large scale. There's too many stakeholders, etc. It's a very entrenched system. Andrew Yang got a respectable 4%, I think, of the Democratic vote. I'm not sure. But the point being that this website right, could be hosted on their choice of servers uh, if they wanted. Um, it has events. It has uh, rides. If you want to need a ride to the event, you could do that. You could do current location, or you can um, type in the location where you want to go, and essentially it will uh, do it. Right now, this location is private, so it's not actually allowing me to... Um, to do it. But the idea is that if you wanted to, you could listen for people to drive you to the events. Uh, here is an event, for example, if you, uh, if you go to the ride, you'll see people driving and they'll literally pick you up in the car. We have that. We have audio, right? We even have video conferencing, which became a very big thing last year because everyone is now from home. And again, we're using Zoom to connect. However, we don't need to use Zoom. Uh, you can today use the web browser that everyone has, and this can be running on your own website. That's really important. Uh, you can have essentially full control of your own community. And unlike the Facebook version, you don't have to put up with all this other stuff going on, and you don't have to live inside Facebook's portal, and you can customize anything about your site. Essentially, this is like WordPress. Right? If you've heard of WordPress for, uh, for blogs, this is what that is, right? Everything's fast, it loads on demand, et cetera, et cetera. There's also other things you can do. You can find people in your community and each person can have a role. Uh, for example, here, um, you might have uh, your business contacts and you'll see these two people. This is my co-founder, Zach and Cubix, for example. You can see their interests, you can chat with them, et cetera, okay? So, this is a social network that you can easily find people. Um, for example, if you wanted to do um, everyone, but you wanted to filter by interest, you want to say, okay, these people are interested in this or that subject, or perhaps you want to see who's a developer or who's, you know, anything. So you want to find someone who's a developer. There you go. These people are all developers. So these are the kinds of things that you can do on your own sites with our first company. But when it comes to payments, you have to pay through the current financial system. For example, here, uh, it's built into the Chrome browser. You're able to pay. And on the iPhone, you'll be paying with Apple Pay. So one click and you're able to pay in the community and purchase credits. So this is where the story of Intercoin almost begins. With uh, credits, you're gonna be able to essentially have an internal currency for the community. So you can earn this currency by doing many different things, including you can earn it for uh, inviting other people. Join the intercoincommunity.org. Literally just go to community.intercoin.org, right? Yeah. And sign up. And then what I'd like you to do is if you have any questions, don't be shy, start a new topic, right? And just, even if you don't have any questions, just introduce yourself. We have a thing here, like it's gonna show up, like introduce yourself. And mm -hmm. we're going to reach out to you because what I want is not just for people to invest in Intercoin. I want people to understand Intercoin and to get involved in, and join the movement, right? And we can only do that if we are all kind of communicating and we're all building it together. So thank you very much, everybody. Uh, you know, you can either drop your email in the chat if you haven't already or just sign up on the site and we will uh, circle back.